Hi, welcome to the Calculus One lecture series. We are in the unit number two, derivative. And this is our last lecture, lecture number 17. We talk about the linear approximations and the differentials. And um, the video, the first part of the video, we talk about the linear approximation. And uh, this is the second video for this lecture number 17. We're going to talk about the differentials here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to our lecture notes. Okay, so the so in the previous video we talked about how to use the linear line to approximate to estimate a function. And we did uh, several examples, and uh, we find out uh, is the estimation really worked out pretty good. Uh, Right, so now let's take a look at the differentials here. And uh, also before I write down the definitions here, I want to use a graph to show you what is the differential means here, all right? Okay, so let's see, this is my functions here, f of x. Okay, that before I have a value here, let's say here, this is uh, x values here. And uh, then I have a tangent line, right? So I have a tangent line. Oops, this one, I hope I can do better over here. Okay, so I have a tangent line passing through this point x here. Okay, so this is my tangent lines here, right? So a while ago, we said that if you have like an f of, you know, value here, you can use this one to estimate. So here is a very similar concept. Now let's take a look if I have uh, some other values here and uh, this values here, the distance here, let's say I call the this is del x. All right, so it's kind of like a triangle here is a del x. And then for this point here, this is x plus del x here. Also, you know, for the del x, that's the change of the x, right? So we can also, the del x, we can also say this is the dx here, right? Because the change of the x from x to the x plus del x here. Okay, so now here, this is what we, okay, so for the, you know, for the passing this point here, so here, okay, so this is my value here. Okay, for this x plus del x here, let's take a look, you know, for this point, they, okay, so the this point, uh, let's see here, they're going up, right, touch like here, both. Okay, so the first, uh, they're going to touch is the, this line, this linear lines, right? So this is the LX lines here. And so the difference is here. Okay, so from the X to the what? To this lines here, this difference is here. Let me try to highlight here, this differences. All right, so this difference is here. All right, so this is we call the, we, that's the differences from the x plus delta x to the x, right? So this difference is here. I will say this is the differences in y's here, right? So because you have y values here, and then now this one's here, you have another y values, right? So these differences are called is dy. The reason why, because the tangent lines here, right? So it's dy over dx, right? So it's how much y change or the x change. So this is how much y change. So I use the notation dy. And then take a look here. Okay, from these numbers here, you go all the way to here. Okay, to the real functions here, all right. Then this distance here, this red one, this distance here, right? So this distance here, 
the red ones here. So if you want, I can color that for you. So here there's a pink additional team, right? So from the X to the delta X, and then this red ones here, I call it is delta Ys here. Okay, so what is the delta Y? So the delta Y, if you use the definition, so it can be, you know, because you have a functions, right? So it will be the f of x plus delta x minus f of x, right? That's just exactly, so this is my f of x value, right? And what is this value here? This is f of x plus delta x value. And what is the value here? This is the L O X plus delta X values, right? So now, so delta Y, this is the, so what is this one here? This is the true differences. Right, so if X is a two, X plus delta X is a three. So you just plug in the F of the three to minus F of the two. So that's what we call is the true differences here. But we know just from the linear approximation. So what is uh, you know the differentials here? So we know the dy, right? So the dy here. Let me give you the color coding. So maybe it would be better. Okay. So the dy here, right? But I know the dy when the you know the delta x getting smaller and smaller. So what happens here? the dy will be a very good estimator for what, for delta y here, okay? And uh, we know just like the linear approximation, we, we know this is very handy, all right? This is very handy because of what? Because maybe, easier, right, to calculate uh, then you use the del y here, right? So because del y, you plug it into your real equation and calculate that. Okay, so now let's take a look, right? So what did that mean here? Let's try to take a look at these examples here. So this example, they say, okay, try to compute the dy and the delta y, and when the delta x equal to the point one here, right? So how much difference is here? Okay, so the, when the x equal to two, all right? So first thing is here, so I said the f of two, you can plug the two into the functions, right? So f of the two, so what is, uh, f of the twos here, the f of the two, so this will be two to the square plus three times two. So what is f of two? It's a 10, okay? Then the f of the what? Now the here, that means it's from, so you have the number is from two to the 2.01. So now, you plug the 2.01, so this is 2.1, I'm sorry, 2.01 here, by the O1. Okay, so this is 2.1. Now you plug the 2.1 into the functions here. So the 2.1, so this will be the 2.1 to the square plus three, the 2.1. And you will get it. this is 10.71, right? Then remember delta y, delta y is the true differences. So you use the 10.71 to minus 10. So what is the delta y equal to? Delta y equal to the point seven one. see here. Okay, so now let's take a look at dy. What is the dy? will be, okay? So the, now let's take a look here. We said, okay, we need to find a linear approximation. So let's do the F prime X. So this is a two X plus what? Plus three, see here. Okay, now I will substitute the F prime two. What is F prime two here? This will be two times two plus three. So it's seven, 
in here. Okay, so I know. Okay, so because in here the dy. Okay, so let's take a look at what is the dy's, right? So we know the dy. Let me put it in here. In the so we know dy dx. This is f prime x, right? So we know the dy is equal to f prime x dx here. Okay, so now in here we have, so we say the dy, I can calculate the bilinear approximation. So it's f prime times dx, right? So it's f prime two times dx. dx is similar like the delta x here. So this one's here. So f prime two is, is what is seven times 0.1. So what do you have is a point of what? It's point of seven here, okay? And uh, so you see here, you know, this is the true differences, right? And uh, this is what? This is estimate. It's pretty close, right? So it's pretty close and close to the second decimal point. And uh, mathematically, this one is a lot easier. to calculate, right? Especially like in here, if you have 2.001, then the loss like a cube, low sense, and you might require a few more minutes to do that. So that's, it's kind of basically is applications about what we just learned, right? So the dy's here, right? So that if you kind of use the linear approximation with just the formula we have, this is really is what? This is just, the, you know, the, the Lx minus uh, like the f of a is right, and the dx here, and the dx is the same thing as x minus, you know, the x minus a, so this is the delta x here, or dx, so it's the same thing, right, so it's just the slope definitions here. Okay, so now let's take a look at the application for this one. In fact, this type of the problem, so we have a lot of application in the real life because of the, a lot of time when you're in the real life, they, every time you're measuring something, you do have errors associated with that. Okay, so let's take a look at number six here. What's that mean? So they say a circle has a radius of 20 centimeter with a possible measurement error is 0.027 centimeter. That means this is circles here, right? So if this is circle, I have a radius is 20 centimeter. But now if you want to calculate, right? So you use a tape or some type of the measurement gauge to measure it. Then they say, hey, this measurement gauge has a possible error is 0.02. That means uh, sometimes you will measure maybe a 20 centimeter, but sometimes it will tell you maybe it's a 20.15. That's what is you're measuring. Or sometimes it will tell you it's 20.1, a 20 point, uh, oh, 0.02. So that means uh, I should have put it this big, 0.02. That means that sometimes your measurements here will be 20.01 or you will have 19.998 or something, right? So then, you, then if you measure it, then you use this as your radius to calculate the area, you're going to have a, you know, your area going to be off, right? So that's why I say use the differential to estimate the maximum error and the relative error of the area for this circle here, okay? Okay, so, the circles here, all right? So let's take a look. You know, the if you don't have, a, so the areas here, this is what is a pi r square, right? Okay, and uh, now the, okay, so if you don't have the arrows, so area will be pi times 20 to the square. It's correct. Okay, now because of the, the associated with the error, let me see how much the maximum arrows is. I take the derivative. So it's dA is equal to what? 2 pi r and dr, right? And the dA is what we want to find. 
And now this is two times pi times the r, r is a centimeter. And what is this dr? This dr is what? This dr is the, you know, the, this dr is the measurement errors, right? So it's times 0.02, all right? So then you get this is 0.8 pi. Okay, so that means, uh, you know, the, this is the error you estimate, because right now I really don't know, because they, you know, this is the measurement error, so I could measure anything in between 20.02 and 19.98, right? So everything in between here, could, uh, I could measure it, so I don't really know the true area, but I can estimate, I said, hey, you know, the, the difference is based on my gauge, you know, the arrow, the area I calculate, the maximum arrow going to be what will be 0.8 pi, right? So this is the max arrows on the area, correct? Right, because the, anything measuring between 20.02 and 19.9 could happen because I don't really know what is this gauge will tell me, right? But I know the maximum error I estimate will be the 0.8 pi. And now we they say, what is the relative error? The relative error is like I say, okay, you know, if I don't have error, my true area is pi, like in here, pi r squared, so 20 to the square. But with this um, maximum arrows here is a point a pi. So then I go into pi pi cancel. So I have about 0 0.002. That means my area going to have a 0.2% error. Okay, so that means you know, whenever if I have this gauge, you have this possible error range, and then whatever the area I, you know, I come out, and the relative error will be about 0.2% to my true areas here. And that is what we call it the differentials here, all right? So we can use the differential to estimate the true differences here. All right, so this is a D, so that's what is this differential means, right? So that means that this is the differential, you know, the, you know, the change of the area. So it's a differential of the area and we can use it to estimate the true differences about the area. Okay, that's it, that is about uh, um, on this topic, uh, what is the differentials here, right? And uh, so it is a very, um, interest in the problem and uh, remembers, right? So it's just a similar like from the linear approximations, right? So the, the delta y is here is true differences here. Then we want to use the, the dy, the differences from here, from linear approximation to estimate the true difference. It, the reason why is just like a, Sometimes your function, when the f of function is complicated, then you try to do it, it's maybe difficult. It's a lot easier, you know, by using the linear function. All right, that's it. Uh, and uh, that's it for this unit. And uh, cannot wait to start our next unit here. All right, okay, have a good day.